I think it's fair to say that the viewership numbers for Raw this week were historically bad. Because they were. Lowest total viewership of all time in the history of Monday Night Raw. Like, you can talk about different things, this and that. But it doesn't change the simple fact. From a Raw numbers standpoint, it's the least watched episode of Monday Night Raw of all time. I think the previous record for fewest viewers was during uh, a Monday night in 2016 when they were going up against a Trump-Hillary debate and Monday Night Football. You had none of that going on. The only major sport in town on TV right now is baseball, and who's really watching that? And the company put up its lowest viewership number of all time. Not a holiday week. That's not good. But now you've got these different camps. You've got the defenders making excuses for it. You've got the other hardcore fans that are using this as a way to justify narratives that they've talked about and use it to talk about how bad the company is and how bad the product is and skip de skip and whoop de woo So you might ask yourself, who do I side with? Do I side with the defenders or do I decide with the haters and bashers? And it's kind of an odd space for me because usually I will go in the direction that gets the most reaction. It's kind of my deal. But in this particular case, I think all sides are right. And I feel like I'm kind of playing middle of the road and I'm uh, just hovering on the fence line. And It's weird. It's really weird. But here's the thing. For the defenders that are going to sit there and say... Well, you know, people continue to cut the cord in terms of cable, and when you look at it, it's still a pretty good viewership number on a Monday night, and when you look relative to the competition out there throughout the cable television landscape, this is still a top-drawing show on Monday night. And they're right. They are absolutely right. Fewer people have cable and satellite. Fewer people watch television. So... In some ways, it can be a little bit like comparing apples and oranges when taking the viewership numbers of today and comparing them to even five years ago, let alone 10, 15, 20 years ago. It can be a tricky spot to be, and I completely agree. And Raw is still, every Monday night, a very highly rated cable television program. So that's absolutely true. And people can point to, well... They've got the massive upcoming TV deal starting next year with USA for Raw and Fox for SmackDown. So they've got to be doing something right. You know what? At the end of the day, regardless of what the product is like and whether or not we enjoy the product, the fact that you can get a media empire like Fox to commit a billion dollars to your product over the course of five years for your B show indicates you did something right somewhere along the way. But, but as far as like the haters and the bashers, you know, is one of these deals that, yeah, you could talk about this and you could talk about that. But the fact is the number's not good. The numbers continue to trend in a downward trajectory in a downward direction. And you can make the excuses talking about fewer people watching TV in general, fewer people with cable and satellite in general and all of this. While those can be valid, it also can be valid that people are turning away from the product. There are plenty of shows out there in television land that do really, really nice ratings. Sure, they don't do the ratings of shows like All in the Family 40 damn years ago, but that was back in the day when you had three networks and that was it. So that's really, truly comparing apples and oranges. But when you look at it, it's not a good sign. Going up against no real major competition. No presidential debate, no championship games of any kind, no playoffs of any kind, no Monday Night Football of any kind. And this is the least watched Monday Night Raw of all time. And it feels like to put a good spin or positive spin on that as the defenders, the bad the sheep, the goats, whatever the fuck, want to sit there and do with WWE, it doesn't change the fact that fewer people are watching, 
and that's not good. It doesn't change the fact when you're at a place after 25 years that you're setting record lows for viewership numbers, that's not good. And it's not good. And to sit there and pretend like everything is hunky-dory in WWE land is just insane. Because it's not. And even when you look past the numbers, just the raw numbers, you would think from a personal pride standpoint that Vince McMahon, the WWE as a whole, would be embarrassed and goddamn ashamed of what they're putting out there. You would think if nothing else, they would be ashamed that after all these years, when they dominate the landscape in the marketplace, that they get a fraction of the total viewers of 15 or 20 years ago. And I'm sorry, even the cable cutting excuse is kind of whack because if your shit is good enough, people will find a way to watch it and they will make sure that they watch it. And the fact that this company still can't get four to four and a half million viewers to watch, bullshit about the cord cutting. It's about the company and the product and where the hell it's going and where the hell it's heading. It's not good. You can sit there and continue to make all the excuses you want about it now. But at some point in time, the trajectory for years has continued to be on a downward spiral. Or are we going to be sitting five years from now? Talking about them doing 1.2 million viewers and trying to justify that as a great rating? Hell no! In USA or Fox with SmackDown, most certainly they're not going to want that rating hung over that damn show. Because they were paying for a much, much larger viewership number than what they're ultimately getting. But then it comes down to this simple truth. As is so often the case with WWE, it just doesn't matter. For their accounting practices, when they're reporting their financials to, for the stock market to the shareholders, they use non-GAAP, which is non-generally accepted accounting practices in order to manipulate and fudge their numbers like a lot of other companies do, to be fair, to make their bottom line look better than what it really truly is. It's a company that's cut out pyro and a lot of personalized sets, and they've made record profit numbers. So clearly, the pyro and the other stuff didn't matter that much. And we do also have to talk about the fact that they just got a massive extension in terms of their television deal with USA for Raw, and a massive deal from Fox in order to air SmackDown, and there might be more stuff to come with NXT and everything else. So the truth is, does it really matter? You can sit there and say, well, no, it does matter because if fewer and fewer people watch, eventually USA and Fox are going to put massive pressure on them. And to a certain degree, you might think you're right, but the reality is probably something different. If all that money from those networks is guaranteed, then what the fuck would WWE care about the viewership the next three to four years? Sure, you might say, well, that's not going to look good as you would go to renegotiate your next television deal. It's not going to look good when your viewership is two-thirds or one-half of what it currently is now, which is two-thirds or one-half of what it was just a few short years ago. The fact is, it doesn't fucking matter. And that's the truth. It just really doesn't matter. So battle away in the comments all you want, talking about how this is not a big deal, or talking about how the sky is fucking falling. It just doesn't matter. Vince wants to be a real-life fantasy football commissioner. This company got their television deals, so they clearly don't give a shit. Me personally, if I'm involved in that company and I'm involved in any way with Monday Night Raw, I would care. I would be ashamed and embarrassed and say, screw the environment, screw the circumstances or situations or excuses that can be made. This is bullshit. This is pathetic, and this can no longer happen. But they clearly don't. And the reason you know they clearly don't is because they don't do anything to make things better. They just don't. They're too busy sending off their universal champion to appear at UFC pay-per-views instead of having him actually appear on Monday Night Raw where he's the champion of that brand because they have to go to all those lengths to pathetically try to get Roman Reigns sympathy. Like, that's the insanity that we're dealing with with WWE now. But they've got their television deals. They know that the viewership for the time being isn't going to drop much lower because out of those 2.4 million viewers, the vast majority of them were hardcore fans that love the kicks and the flips and don't care about characters, storyline, and interesting shit. 
which is what the WWE gives them now. So it, it, I'm sorry. Yeah, the viewership numbers suck. Flat out. They are historically bad. And when all is said and done right now, no matter how much you gripe at me in the comments or you bitch at each other in the comments, it matters none. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't. 